Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. In this video, we are going to solve a set September 2019 question paper. As you know, this exam was conducted a few days back only. So let us begin with our question paper. And here we are starting from the very beginning, that is the mathematics portion and question number one. So question one says the sum of 1.2342501 and 2.0304991 when rounded up to four decimal places is. So here this question seems to be a very easy question, but the trick here is many candidates do a mistake. They first uh, round this round these two numbers in four decimal places and then they add up these two numbers, but that will give you a wrong answer. What we need to do is first we need to sum these two up, then we need to uh, round the resultant value in four decimal places. So summing this, we have one point two three four. 25001 we will do a simple addition as we have been doing since very beginning so this is 2.0304 so if we sum this up we will get our resultant to be here this will be 3194 then we have 742 uh, sorry this will be 6 because 3 plus 3 will give us 6, 6, then 2 plus 0 will give us 2. This is point and this is 1 plus 2 is 3. So basically this is the result of the sum of these two numbers. Now what we need to do is we need to round up these this number in 4 decimal places. So you can see 4 decimal places means 2, 6, 4 and 7. So this is 4 decimal places. So our answer will be 3.2647. Seven and we need we also need to check what is the fifth decimal place number this fifth decimal place number is four and since this is four our answer will be this only and if this if this had been five or more than five then we need to add one over here that is the decimal the la fourth decimal places which is seven would turn up to eight and the answer would have been three point two six four eight but this is not the case since this is a 4 which is less than 5 hence our answer will be 3.2647 so our correct answer is in option number c 3.2647 so option c is the correct answer now moving on to the second question so you here you can see we have a determinant question so the rank of b where b okay so here as you can see we have a 3 cross 3 matrix and with b is not equal to minus 1 0 and 2 is okay so we need to find the rank of b with this matrix and the condition is b is not equal to minus 1 0 and 2 so for rank what we need to find is we need to find the determinant of this matrix so finding the determinant we can write this as b 1 0 then we have 3 b minus 2 1 3 b plus 1 0 b plus 1 so what we can do is we can consider the first very row and solve it with respect to first row. So we will get over here is B in bracket. What we need to do is we need to cross multiply over here. So B minus 2 into B plus 1 minus 0 into 1 will give us 0. Then minus second term we are taking over here 1 and in second brackets. Now we will multiply like this this will be the cross multiplication so this will be the multiplication over here which will give us 3 into b plus 1 minus 3 into b plus 1 into 1 so 3 plus 1 and the last term plus 0 so we will uh, neglect that part now here you can see 3 into b plus 1 and 3 into b plus 1 gets cancelled out so this whole second part is 0 and we are left with b into b minus 2 b plus 1 so in this case if this matrix is uh, 0 if this matrix is 0 we get the value b of is 0 minus 1 and 2 so as you can see if b is not equal to 0 minus 1 and 2 the matrix is non-zero hence you can see three values of b gives us that the determinant value is not 0 hence our rank of this matrix will be 3 so this the answer is 3 which is option number a now moving on to the next question is question number 3 so in question 3 you can see the system 
6x plus 9y plus 4 uh, is equal to 4 and 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 has a unique solution more than two solutions no solution exactly two solutions so you can see we have been given two equations over here which are 6x plus 9y is equal to 4 and the second equation is 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 so here you can see in first and second equation we can see a common thing that uh, both the components of x and y are similar and we can find that easily just by dividing the first equation by 3 so we divide the first equation this equation by 3 dividing by 3 so we get 2x plus 3y is equal to 4 by 3 and we will write our second equation over here which is 2x plus 3y is equal to 5 so as you can see the number associated with x which is 2 and the number associated with y which is 3 both are same in these two equations and this property says that these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel since the components of x which is 2 and components of y are same irrespective whether their constants are same or not but this says that uh, these two lines are parallel and since these two lines are parallel they will never intersect two parallel lines will never intersect and this says that they have no solution what is a solution a solution is a point when where two equations intersect so since you can see these two intersect at this point so they have one solution but in parallel lines here you can see in parallel lines they never intersect so they will have no solution so here we have solved three questions so i will like to end this video here and we will solve more questions on ASET September 2019 question paper in our further videos.